supply chain pressures and poor production capacity planning negatively affect both workers and small businesses in the global apparel industry. Let's look at a common example. Lucky Exports is a garment factory in Bangladesh that produces women's blouses for European apparel brands. Last season, Lucky was operating at full capacity when one of their buyers, Duchess Fashion, asked for a last-minute design change. Lucky explained that they would need to extend lead times and increase the price to make up for time and materials already invested. But Duchess Fashion was unwilling to adjust due to tight margins and consumer demands. Not wanting to lose an important client, Lucky agreed to Duchess Fashion's conditions. To meet the deadline, they extended the required work week to more than 60 hours for all workers. Despite their efforts to fill the order on time in their capacity calculation and planning for the season, Lucky had not accounted for machine maintenance, a national holiday, or delayed supply shipments, leaving them even further behind schedule. Feeling overextended just days before the deadline, Lucky decided to subcontract to a small sewing house, Circle Apparel, without notifying Duchess Fashion. Circle Apparel is a new business with no major clients of their own and is not officially registered. They have lower quality products, but can easily increase production since they are not subject to labor oversight. Hiring Circle Apparel allowed Lucky to finish the order on time. But the next season, Duchess Fashion reduced the price they are willing to pay Lucky due to the lower quality of the order. To make up their losses, Lucky resorted to taking more orders than they can complete, causing them to again require excessive hours and unauthorized subcontracting. Under this new schedule, Lucky's workers feel overwhelmed and burnt out by the additional hours, increased pace of production, and frequent schedule changes. They become less efficient and have more accidents, leading to lower quality and high turnover. These changes keep the company afloat, but trap Lucky in a vicious cycle forcing them to put in greater effort for diminishing gains. To learn about how fair capacity is disrupting this story, visit sainternational.org forward slash fair capacity.